Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Vinyl sir. Vibes, episode one, man. It's your boy Chizzy up in here. I got my boy Chief up in here. Chief, what's up, man? Miss Chief in the building. What's good, my guy? Vinyl Vibes, man. Episode one, bro. Appreciate the look, <laughs> man. It's going to be epic. It's been a long time coming, man. Some dope shit. Yes, sir. Yeah, so pretty much this pod, man, and this thing is, is pretty much just like an ode to, to the classic albums that we love. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's not going to be no every week thing. What you think, Chief? Every week? How it? Mm, it depends on what the people say. It depends on y'all. So y'all let us know how yeah. often y'all want us to do this, John. Right. But today, man, we're going to talk about the Bible, man. Illmatic. Ooh. None other than the, the, the classic. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. where we starting, Chief. That's Let's how go. I feel, man. Let's do it. Let's go there. So I got a couple questions I want to ask you, Chief, to right. start this thing off. What makes Illmatic different from a, the other classic rap albums in that era? Like, just for instance, we got Doggy Style, The Chronic, Ready to Die. Like, what makes Illmatic special, in your opinion, in your humble right. expertise, right. my boy? I mean... At the time, I think when it dropped, because mm -hmm. I was, you know, in that era, I don't think we really knew what we was getting. Yeah. When it dropped, because yeah. it was so fresh, it was a, it was a whole different sound, especially from New York. Like you say, with at that time, people was rapping different, mm -hmm. cadences were different. Yeah. The words that Nas was using, people <laughs> never heard them. So when it when it first dropped. That's yeah. why it didn't really have the appeal is because it was mm -hmm. so fresh yeah. and uh, we didn't really know how to perceive it. But I think really the biggest thing is it, it just broke the mold, bro. Yeah, It really, it, it, it brought everything to where it needed to be in reference to this is the new standard. Yeah, Like there's always that album that sets everything apart to where, look, mm -hmm. if you ain't on that level, your joint getting pushed back six months. <sighs> you need another single. You need a bigger hook. You need another feature. Things I always heard about um, Illmatic is just all the different producers. And prior to that, like, you know, you use your producer. Correct, right. And now it's just going and listing all the great producers. That's a fact. From from the research that I've done and from the things that I've heard, I always seem like that was a turning point. Like, where it's like, you go and get the best producers, you know what I'm saying, to right. make the best shit. So that's one thing that I always hear people talk about that I feel as though is dope like okay you know what though at the time that he dropped it they all weren't considered yeah, the best they producers was st they were still making that, that bones. album <laughs> solidified yeah. like the only one that was really like that guy back then was Pete Rock well that's a good segue into my next question for you chief okay out of all the great producers on that album yes who will we consider the greatest just run a couple names down we got Pete Rock we got Q-Tip Okay. We got LES. We got DJ Premier. We got Large Professor. Yes. Who would you consider the greatest if if there is a greatest out of those? Everybody can hold their own in a room. Mm -hmm. My favorite, though, is Primo. Yeah. That's my guy. Yeah. Been my guy. Yeah, I already know and, that. And as you can see through Nas's career, he's been the consistent thing. Yeah. When he need a banger, he go to Primo. Mm -hmm. He go to Houston. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm going to have to go with Q-Tip on this. Ah, Just because of all that, hard. Tri all that tribe shit. Tip hard, man. Incredible. Tip hard. That's why I said that. Man. That's, <laughs> that's a hard combo. <laughs> that's a hard. See, with Primo, for me, when I look at producers, it's just fit, right? And, mm -hmm. and vibe. Yeah. Primo's sound is perfect for Nas. Nah, yeah, I it's agree. It's just man. like. Everything they ever done was yes, fucking like amazing. Everything that he's done with Nas and, and other artists has mm -hmm. been some of their best work. You know, like I said, even at Word that time, up. being a youngin, I didn't really appreciate it. Yeah. As much as I didn't really Yeah, either, like to be when honest. it dropped because I know every song off of Illmatic individually. Correct. Just hearing them on MTV jams or the radio. Correct. But as a body of work, it wasn't until I got like high school. Till I even started really acknowledging it, and then right. really like you, right, helped me see it the next level. Once I did get Illmatic, you helped me really like not all that nigga body of works is Man. crazy, like so definitely, bro. Like when you when you look at it now though, you look at that kid because Nas was a kid then, bro. Yeah, let's, let's keep it a band. Yeah, that dude was way ahead of his time, bro. 
way ahead like of that shit that he bro. put on them records bro that's that still relevant it's to crazy this day, bro. yes it's the storytelling the 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 punch lines the delivery um just the continuity in the album like it mm -hmm. fit everything you can you can go back to back to back to back to back i want to talk about the sonics of the album for a second Okay. I don't know if you've seen it, bro. They 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 performed the whole the whole album with a live symphony band. Yes. At like the JFK Center yes. or some shit. That was hard. And I feel like the samples that all of the producers chose were just amazing. Great music, gr great people, great producers who are great at sampling, sampling great music. Right. So that's why it could be performed years, all these years later with the big Correct. band and the you know what I'm saying. So the sonics of that album. It fit Nas like that, that jazzy blues, because I, I know his dad was like a jazz musician. That's right, and you can hear that shit in that that's album, bro. Like that's, you know what that's I'm saying? a that's a music heads type album. Yeah, meaning, you know, to really get that album, you gotta have an appreciation and, a, and kind of a deep love for it because yeah. it's not. The, the singles that he put out is nothing that's like supposed to be so big. Yeah, but shit is genius, bro. Genius. First bro. album. 19, 20 year old kid from Queens. Perfect walking the line between looking out my window and I seen this to yeah. this what I'm going it's through. Fact. It's just perfect like. That's why they call Nas a journalist. Yeah, man. Nas can, can see something and break it down like. You could smell Queens I've been to QB album. before. Like, that, right. like when you hear that album, yeah. it's, it's, I've never been to QB. Yeah. i seen it, you know, Word but I'm up. just saying, like, listening to that album. He took bro, you right there. Yeah, he, he took, took you, you right, right there, there, bro. I, I believe he, he showed you. rappers how to really take you right there. That's a fact. And that's why I say, really, with that album, what he did, bro, is he kind of changed the game because. Everybody always hip hop is is all about representing where you from. It's your mm -hmm. vision, you know. You telling your story, mm -hmm. but it went from the just the typical, you know. I'm gonna show you a, a brief, you know, scene or something like that. To yeah. look, this is a day in the life, you know. Would you consider it the greatest hip hop album? Top five, like where does that fall? You know what I'm saying. And if it's not one, where? Nas is so great. You have to rank Nas's albums to me. Yeah, I don't. He's light years ahead of the game. Been mm -hmm. there. Now, of course, we slept on it. You know, when Jay when Jay was taking his shots. Yeah, <laughs> you know, eh, the others Illmatic. Everybody, you know, sipped the Kool Aid. Yeah, but man, the Stillmatic joint. It's like it was what you written. told me that one time, bro. That that just goes back to the power of our MCs. Like the what Jay said that, and that became truth. Right. Even if it wasn't truth, it became truth. Illmatic is probably top three for me. Yeah. Right up there with Muddy Waters. Mm -hmm. That's one of my favorite joints <laughs> with, with Red. Like, for sure. And uh, when it comes to like top five, top three, any given day, I could say Illmatic number one. Yeah. I might wake up on the wrong side of the bed the next day and be like, <laughs> you know what? I got to go back with Big. You talk about an album, I, I think Illmatic was just the first of its kind. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's the best ever, but at that time, nothing was close to it, bro. See, me? Nothing. I go, I go, I flip flop all the time between that, Get Rich or Die Trying, yeah. or Dark Twisted Fantasy by Ye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the time, Illmatic is number one for right, me. Right, right. I just feel like the essence of hip hop, if I had one album to play an alien, like, yo, this is what hip hop right. is, it would be Illmatic. It'd be Illmatic. I mean, it's just incredible, bro. Like, yeah, I gotta agree, bro. It's just hard, to, it's, it's hard to it's go It's hard, against. but like I said, there's body of works that's just as it good. Is. The Chronic, Doggy yes. Style. Yes. Both are big albums, really. You could, yes. either one of them. Either one, because Ready to Die. It, it it actually elevated and it, it bounced off of Nas a little bit. Yeah. And even the production was. But when I just think of level. pure raps, no, like fuck your hook, fuck the. Nas is the GOAT, bro. Nas is the that one, bro. Is incredible. You and got it, a favorite song off of Illmatic, bro? Nigga, life's a bitch. <laughs> Why, huh? bro? Why, cuz? Because again, that was the first time you heard words like that, yo. Yeah. That nigga AZ. Shout out to AZ, man, too. Man, what? AZ went crazy on and, that and, and then to this day, he's one of the only cats that could really keep up with Nas on a record. Yeah. And, I would have to go with New York State of Mind. That's hard. Because I know hard. every great MC before Nas wish they wrote that record. Yes. And, and after, but especially yes. the iconic history of the 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. New York State of Mind and see, and you is know just what? incredible. I think that mm -hmm. is... A